Can we use that as propulsion? <laughs> Wally! Wally! Love it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Helion. We are... No further adieus. No further adieus here. We're going to continue straight after where we left it last time. We're going to open the hatch and experience dramatic pause. Space, ladies and gentlemen. Space. Okay, pressure. As noted by the bottom left, is now non-existent. We are now in space. We're going to begin our survival journey as we venture out. And we can see a bunch of stuff just happened. So we can see Outpost 20 Golf 003 is now behind us. That's where we came from. That's where we came from. And there's something behind it over there. What's that yellow thing over there? Ooh, lovely purple planet. And there's some other stuff over here, including this, this AM, which stands for airlock module, which we can go over to. And we're about to see what this game is all about. See, a tip has just appeared. Access the module's docking panel. We're going to grab on using shift. Access the module's docking panel to begin docking procedure. What is that? What on earth is going on? We're going to pop this module onto that. We're going to connect them up. Just like the crew quarters module, which I think is that bit over there. We're going to connect this up. This is an airlock module, so we don't have to depressurize the entire place we came from every time we open the door. So we can see here, we're looking for uh, a docking panel access, which is here. And I know it's here because they're all the same. Uh, every time you start up, it's exactly the same. So this will always be in the same place, etc, etc. So I'm cheating a little bit. But we come over here, we uh, orient ourselves. Uh, uh, let's jump up a little bit. This It takes a bit of getting used to. I'm now upside down. Uh, you can feel the weight of it. Right. So we're going to press F, open the docking panel access. This will pop up. Uh, and then we can press F again uh, when we see the little icon. And boom. There we are. This is now a direct camera feed of the docking port of this module. Now, we want the airlock to be on the outside... So we're going to dock using the standard docking port, which happens to be nicely aligned. Press R to change that camera feed. And now we're going to use the same uh, controls as we did in our environmental suit to line up to the docking port that we just came from, which you can see there. So we are going to casually line that up nice and easy. Let's start going towards it nice and slow. You can see here distance and then directional speed. We're closing by 1.1 meters per second. I'm going to press space to start going up a little bit. And then just before we get too high, I'm going to press left control to come down a little bit. And I'm going to slow down. So we need to do some more orientation. I'm going to go left a bit and up a bit. And when you get to a certain point, it'll automatically guide you in. We tab out. Where are we now? We've docked. Secure. So now we can use this as an airlock for our main station. How sweet is that? So you can see here, we've got our, an atmospheric pressure indicator on the left. If we wanted to, we can open the inner door or the outer door. Open the inner door and the outer door because it doesn't matter. We haven't got any air in the air tank to pressurize this new module though. That's the problem. So we need to start creating some air. Uh, let's see if we can do that using the stuff that we've already got. Now you need to be mindful. So this is, this is all the stuff that was inside. Oh, we've got gravity in this bit. That's good. This is all the stuff that was inside the module that we just uh, we just uh, stole. So resource containers. You plug those into your suit if you're starting to run out of oxygen. Uh, another battery pack. It's all very good. Uh, and this, this is space for rifles, weapons. Um, what we need to do is make sure that these doors are closed. 
So we can either we can press this or we can go to the airlock control panel here and close the inner door. Hopefully that won't automatically open. Now this is an MMO. So if someone was to appear and try to board me and use guns to kill me, which you can do, can lock the door. Ah, I feel safe already. So we're going to come out. We've still got no pressure in this area. Um, now I know that we do have pressure in the main room. There, that's where we came from. We're going to close this door using the override system. We can undo the docking we just did using this. We're not going to do that. Um, but we could do if we wanted to. And now we're going to go back into our main room and we're going to have some pressure coming at us because this room's full of air and we're going to lose some of that air. And we do not want that door open. Don't want that door open. <laughs> Bit buggy. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, we're going to open this and then air's going to flood in. Knock us off our feet. Nice little effect there. Let's get up. Now... We can take our visor off. We can see here we're at we've lost 10% of the air pressure because we've now expanded it into this area here. That's enough to survive on. Um, so we're gonna come out here now in our cargo terminal. We should see that the refining has completed and we've generated all of this stuff: oxygen, hydrogen, helium three, nitrogen, and nitro for the engines. We're gonna unload all of that. We've still got tons of power, so let's pop some nitrates in there and some dry ice. And refine that. You can see it will take take a lot of power while it's doing it, but we've got enough. 37, 36,000 kilowatts, or 36 uh, watts, I'd imagine. Megawatts, something watts. Uh, and power supply, we've already dealt with that. We've got, we've got our, our um, solar panels, cranking it out. Life support, we need some air. We've got nothing in the air tank. Let's get the air generator on, power that up, and it's starting to make air for us. We can use air to power. We can see on connected vessels, we've got our new module that we just created, that we just docked, the airlock module. HE120 Golf 006. Fantastic. So the airlock room, won't, that won't have gravity yet. <coughs> but if we wanted to, we could pressurize the space between here and the airlock room if we had enough air, which we don't have at the moment. So. You can just click that to pressurize and it will start. It will take air out of there. But we don't have enough. Although we might have enough because we're generating it. So that's now fully pressurized, which is excellent. The airlock room itself is obviously not pressurized, but we can pressurize it using air that we are now pumping into the system. Um, we're running out of energy. This uses a lot of energy. It'll take the oxygen and nitrogen to create air using the air generator. A filter as well will make the air quality better. It's not too bad at the moment, so I don't need to worry about that. So we'll just leave that running. Why not? Let's go to space. Again. So everything should be in order. So I'll do that. And then... We have pressure! We have pressure in this area now. Woohoo! Marvellous. We can see here big red light. No pressure in the airlock. Pressure differential. And it's an open door to space out there. So that's going to be problems. That's going to be problems. Let's pop our helmet on. We can use our airlock control panel now to pressurize that room. Airlock pressure. Oh, we've not got enough. All right, we're going to close the outer door. That's good. It won't let us pressurize if the door's open. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, we're going to pressurize it. You get this very cool sound effect that I love. Equalize the pressure. And open the inner door. Oh no, we can't because we locked it. This is now pressurized. Now, do we have our helmet on? We do now. We can go back to this panel here. Press F, close the inner door, depressurize the airlock. We are now depressurized, open the outer door. Back in space. We haven't lost a single cubic millimeter of air in doing so. 
which is lovely, lovely, lovely. So that's just going to stay there. Stations being powered slowly, slowly by our solar panels, which are there. We talked about the catalyst a moment ago, which is here. Oh, server problems apparently. So if this was damaged, we can just pop another one in there. Or we can take that and put it somewhere else if we wanted to. Look! Look, there's some damage! We don't want damage. We got damaged because of that debris field we were in earlier. Let's get our welding tool out. Repair some of that. Beautiful. Lovely. Can we put this away? I want to put this away. I don't think I can put this away yet. Oh, just, oh, don't do that. Helmet back down. Okay, we didn't die. Almost died. We can use our... <laughs> can we use that as propulsion? <laughs> Wally! Wally! Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So we need to, I want my hands free. Can we, can we do that yet? I don't want this anymore. Or we can, we can swap between both. I don't know how to not <laughs> have anything anymore. Uh, we're going to try. Right, so we've got, now the module that we did use is gone because we've docked it to our main outpost. Um, there's a star ropes thing there. What's that? Looks like a starship. Because at the moment we can't really move our little construction anywhere yet. So we're going to get on this thing, see what we can do. It's got lights on it, looks like it has power. Very good. You see it's got another little catalyst thing over there. That's jolly good. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, it's got some sort of, some sort of airlock thing. There. Like, like every starship should. Now let's use my Pro Zero G skills to slowly glide towards here. Oh look, we've got an airlock control panel. Let's pop on there. Ah, oh, my hands have emptied. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay, right. So, like before, we're going to depressurize the airlock. It's basically in reverse of what we've done before. And you can hear that. I'm not sure you should be able to. Maybe reverberations through whatever I'm holding on to. Which I should be holding on to something. But, you know, all in good time. All in good time. And depressurize. I'm going to open the outer door. Baboom. We can pop in here. Ooh, scary spaceship. Ooh. Hello, panel. And we're just going to do the reverse now. Close that outer door. Pressurize. Boarded the spaceship. We're at maximum pressure. Visor off. <sighs> Let's open this inner door. Here we are, and we're gonna have gravity. And we're on. We're on a, another place. If you go into engine, oh, engineering. That might be good. Power supply. Oh, we need that. Oh, unauthorized access. What? I totally didn't know that was going to happen. Why have we got unauthorized access? Life support? Unauthorized. Can't do it. Why? We need to claim the ship. Let's sprint to the bridge. And this is the bridge. It's our little cockpit. We're about to hit something. That should not be right. <laughs> we don't want to hit that. So we're going to go to the security panel here. We're going to claim the ship. Click claim. That's me. Change the name. No, I always call them all the same. HMS Pinafore. Like a modern major general. Change the emblem to something. Uh, it could be Brazilian or Rule Britannia. Lovely Rule Britannia. Add crew member. This is some of my Steam friends. We can pop them on there. Uh, lovely, lovely, lovely. We've now impacted that ship. It's not good. Now we can get in there, pilot the ship. Let's use our engines. And this is exactly the same controls. 
I'm just going to stabilize. Now, we can use match target velocity. Just press M. We've now matched the target velocity. We can press Shift to stabilize ourselves relatively to what we're targeting. And what, we, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? We're going to do what we did before and dock this bad boy. Now, the spaceship can't lock onto a, an airlock, but it's got an anchor port. So we can do something different. We can see in the top right, we've got a little radar thingy. We're just going to get that aligned. So we're not actually looking out of the cockpit anymore. This is a video feed to the dock, which is on the bottom of the ship. We see we need to, to get it over there. So let's, let's speed up a little bit. Let's close one meter per second. Nice and nice and easy. I'm going to slowly just drift over. Now, I know we're going to need to rise up a little bit. So I'm just going to hit the shift key. Not shift key, the space bar. To give us a little bit of vertical movement. You can see the little red bars at the crosshair are telling us our relative position. So we're going to keep going up, obviously, because we are, there's nothing counteracting that. I'll press shift. No, left control. I keep getting that wrong. Uh, to do that. Oh, we've hit something. Hit something. Have we taken any damage? No, we haven't. But we, we're going to go forward a little bit. We need to, to rise up significantly. And now we're getting really out of control. We don't want that. Oh, let's close our speed. We're using the mouse here to orient ourselves. And we're going to use the space bar to climb a little bit. Or maybe not. This can all go wrong very quickly. Press shift to stabilize. And you can see now that we've we've bumped into that. And so now it's all spinning out. So this just became a whole lot harder. Oh, I need to just slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Try and get those red bars a little bit smaller so we're not moving so radically away. We've got a bit of a spin going here. <laughs> you can see we're moving away. We need to stabilize, so we're just going to hold shift, and now we're in a, in a bit of better position. So let's start moving. We're 50 meters away, and just ever so gently get ourselves into a position. Now, what I keep doing is to keep mixing forward and back with up and down. So shift and control, left control to go down. I use the word control ironically. Just going to use the mouse to orient. Looks like we're coming in nicely. Coming in nicely. I'm going to use shift again. And uh, overshot a little bit, but it's fine. Let's get a bit of a spin going. Slow it right down. Reverse that spin. We're in the green. Down a little bit. Left a little bit, and then it should. It'll automatically take us the rest of the way. We are now docked! We are now docked. We can see all the other possible docking points. And that's basically anywhere uh, that we have a eject module bit. So, outpost to the crew quarters, outpost to the airlock, the airlock itself, um, and other bits, which is all very nice. It's all very nice. Now, we are docked! And if we wanted to, we could now pilot our ship away uh, and we take everything that we've docked onto using the anchor with us, which is excellent. We've got ship's lights. We've got nothing in front of them, but it's all there. Uh, we can see that we are speeding away from our derelict bet thing. So we're going to use... Uh, can, we, can we use that? Derelict bet. Oh, you can see it on the radar. So let's just see where we are. We're now taking the whole station with us. But we're in a debris field, so we're, we're, we're taking little bits of metal and asteroids and stuff like that. Let's close to this derelict BET 20 Golf 17. Closing 7 meters per second. And when we get nearby... Let's just slow down a little bit. We 
Let's see. So it's a derelict, but it might be full of stuff that we need. So we're going to slow it right down until we get to about 20 meters. You can see now we are going too far above. Whoa! <laughs> okay, this is a lot quicker than the other ship. Uh, now 30 meters. Uh, and doing that. We're now oriented enough that we can match target velocity. I still want to close the distance a little bit because I'm lazy. Slow it down, and then I'm going to press M to match target velocity, and we're just going to stay in this position. Tab out. Little album emblems appeared. But this ship is full of stuff as well. We've got a drilling tool over there. Uh, we've got a warp cell. Ooh, FTL. We'll end, we'll end the game. Not end the game. We'll end the video when we go to, to warp in a bit. We've still got one more thing to explore. Uh, power supply. Now we can turn all this on. So it's got its own solar panels, which is fantastic. But the cool thing is, is that everything is connected. Now, we don't have any sun exposure at the moment. Um, because probably of, of, of how we're oriented. Uh, but we can connect to the outpost, which is uh, not generating anything. I imagine because of the same reason we're not, we've not got any sun exposure. But here we are, HMS Pinafore, and the two modules we docked. So this is the one we started up with that was already docked the outpost, and our airlock as well. Now we can turn these off if we wanted. And that just turns off the lights, basically. Probably gravity. Uh, FTL, air filters, air generators, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look. Um, now we haven't got any power at the moment because we've not got anything from the solar panels when we do all these lights will turn on uh, we've got an air filter here good we need air filters uh, RCS utility access so that's our, our maneuvering thrusters we can pop some stuff in there some resource injectors uh, to power that I imagine you would connect that to the refinery live support uh, we've got an air filter air quality uh, it's not too bad 93% uh, in all of these areas 93% not too bad at all uh, oh lights just came on and I'm imagining that is because we've now got some sun exposure. And that, well, that's generating a lot. 591. Our air generator's still in line in Outpost 20 Golf 003, which is lovely. Um, life support. We can see everything, and we can connect everything remotely. So let's pressurize these areas now, because we've got a lot. This is a combined air tank now. Just pressurize everything. Make it nice and pressurized. Brilliant. Our airlock isn't pressurized. We can see our airlock room here isn't pressurized. Or is pressurized. We want to go and have a look at that. That thingy jig. We can lock this door as well if someone wants to break in. But we don't need that at the moment. Let's depressurize the airlock. And that's now terminated because there's a pressure difference. And as soon as that's finished doing it... Wait, we're not in there! Wait, I've done it wrong, done it wrong, done it wrong, done it wrong, done it wrong. We need to be in there before we depressurize, otherwise we'll open this door and the ship will be bugging. <laughs> you can close the bridge as well, lock that up. Lock it all up! Super paranoia. So look, we got anything, we got anything else we missed? No, this, this, this is it. Got a big drill there, lovely. So this door's now nice and pressurized. Or this room even. No, we've got no gravity. Helmet on. Press H. And we're gonna go over there, press F. Close the inner door. Depressurize the compartment. Ah, it's getting seriously hot in this room. I wish I could depressurize my house. Pressure suit. Have a existence where temperature doesn't matter. And we're depressurized. We're gonna open the outer door with our helmet on. And there we are. So you can see now we are docked. Turn our lights on. We've got our we're anchored there. There's our ship. And there's our derelict. That we approach with all of our all of our stuff. All looking very nice. Oh, we got damage. 
I'm not even going to bother. There's our little crew compartment. It started in. It's all there. But here we are at the derelict that we conveniently positioned ourselves nice and close to. So let's have a look. I'm just going to have a look around. See whether we can find anything of value in this hulk. This broken bit of ship. And you'll always start with one to have a look around. And it's a great opportunity to get used to the um, zero-g maneuvering. There might be some people going, Oh, no, okay, you rubbish at maneuvering. And, yeah. But I'm better than I once was. Oh, what's this? A gun? I've got a gun. Uh-oh. I feel we've run out of super power. Now I can't see anything. This has never happened before. The dark is is now. It's all very, very, very dark. Ooh, but I can see this little thing. Ha ha! I've beaten the lack of uh, the 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 darkness. Oh wait, wait, wait! We have these things, didn't we? We have those little battery packs. I want to use one. Can I use one? Or am I just stuck out here? Jetpack refueling. Don't need any of that. I need some power. Give me some power. No, have I just thrown it away? Alright. Yep, knew that. Knew that already. No, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop that. That's now floating in front of me. I guess I can pick it back up. Let's get the battery pack. Clicking. Oh, no, no. Oh, nearly died. Don't do that. I have no power. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's irritating. That's really irritating. Let's just pop that back in there. Okay. Right. See, people are joining the server. People are joining, going, hello, uh, what's what's going on? Uh, and I would join in. I would join in. But we're doing a video. We're doing a video. I'll talk to them later. I'm sure there's some more stuff in there, but I've lost power and I can't be bothered. Uh, but you, 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 you saw you saw what we did. You saw the idea. Let's get back to the ship, and we're gonna we're gonna do some warp. Oh, we've got our ship lights on. That's wasting a lot of power, but it looks nice. Lovely. We've got a gun. Let's go pirate. Piracy. Yarrr. Oh, oh dear. I'm going to miss the ship. I was pirating too hard. Oh, no. Float away. This is like gravity. Where's Sandra? All right, okay. We're back. We're back. We're back. Back, 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 back. In the, in the airlock. In the airlock. Ugh. I really want to, I need to repower this suit. I need to repower it. Let's just close the door and then we can have a little cry and be safe. Close the outer door and repressurize the compartment as soon as that door is closed. Slowly as air fills, we'll hear the motors running. That shuts off. We know we're at full pressure. F and gravity. I've got no suits in here. We had loads of suits in the crew compartment in the in the module, but I can't walk between here and there, so screw it. Air filters, stuff like that. Right, FTL. We need a warp cell. We've already got one, and we need a something something detonator. Singularity something detonator. Uh, we can put uh, core containment field generators there, just just make stuff better. Um, singularity cell detonator. It's all sci-fi stuff. We have one. Excellent. Let's go to the cockpit of the ship. And we're going to sit in our little seat. Now, we're still matched to the module there. Uh, but tell with that. Because I, I didn't have any bloody light. So we're going to press 2 and we're going to get to our map. This is the Helion system. This is the whole server. We can have a look, see where we are. That's us here in this orbit around the planet Bethir. 
and there are lots of other planets as well. And then the sun, obviously Helion itself, uh, Askatar, Aya. We can press F1 to go to this little lovely help screen, and we can go to um, something, uh, Lore and History, Helion System Map, and this is it. Basic map detailing some of the location of former, because there's been some catastrophe. Uh, stuff so we can see uh, Beth has got some uh, civilian um, uh, Military and industrial stuff there that we can go and visit if you wanted to but how can we do that? How can we do that? How can we move around? Settings have not been updated Helion Alpha early access build Early access build. It's an early access build. Can I come back? <laughs> Is this it? Is this it? Nova Kane was killed by a settings update. Uh, uh, this, 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 the, ooh. Ooh, I'm moving around. Oh, I'm moving around. Oh, it's not worked. It's not worked. Nothing's worked. Oh, we're going to have to go back. <laughs> we're going to have to reload and try again. So, the game is a little buggy there. We're going to leave it there for this video. This is not the last video. This is a three-part epic space saga. Um, next, next episode, we are going to warp speed faster than light, ladies and gentlemen. Faster than light. If you like this video, press the big thumbs up button. And as usual, if you didn't, put a thumbs down. And tell me why in the comments. Just just have a chat. Let me know what you think. If, if you like it or if you don't like it, whatever. No, none of it's scripted. That's my style. And hopefully, hopefully you're down with that. But before we go, many thanks to our patrons, Sultan Leopard, Damien D. Brent, Barry Douglas, and Byron, of course, and our associate producer, Harder Than Fire. Uh, if you want to get in on the Patreon action, head to www.patreon.com forward slash Novocaine, or click the link in the end card, which is going to be coming up in a few moments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.